Hello, my name is Joe Mullen with Sports Coach Diesel Pushers here at Coachman RV. Today I'm going to show you five obscure things you may not know that's even included with your 2022 Sports Coach Diesel Pusher. One of the nice little things I love pointing out when I'm at shows is customers will say, hey, a diesel, I hear there's a lot more maintenance to it. Not necessarily so. One thing to help you with the maintenance on a diesel pusher is each one has what we call filter minder. If you look up inside here, we've got a little air gauge or a little gauge that reads the level of the air filter for the chassis. Sometimes you'll pull into a rust area, you'll have your engine idling, a semi will pull up next to you, he'll restrict the airflow coming in, so you're going to get a false reading here. Now, Freightliner is going to tell you to change your air filter, wait till this filter is reading all the way up in the red, which is actually what it's showing now. But on the bottom of it, I'm just going to flip through here, there's a little yellow reset button. And as you look in here, when I push that, the gauge comes back down to zero. So you still have plenty of life left on your uh, filter, even though you think it may be ready to change. One thing to keep in mind with your air filter is it is a paper cartridge. So every two years, you're going to want to change that regardless of where that's at. But that's just one of the uh, first things I want to show you that's an obscure feature on the sports coach. Now let's move around to the front of the coach. One of the other things on the front of the coach that I like pointing out, up at the top left corner of the generator section, and we do have the slide on generator tree, there's three steel cable lanyards here. And what those are for, those are to drain any excess moisture in your air tanks from the Freightliner chassis. Now the Freightliner chassis will come with the automatic uh, heated moisture ejectors, but what we recommend is just twice a year, for 15 seconds each, pull all three. That's gonna release any moisture that may have been built up in the bottom of the air tanks. So that's gonna help the longevity uh, take care of the chassis as well. So that's number two. Let's move on to number three. Number three, each sports coach also has auxiliary air quick connects on the chassis. One on both sides of the coach, first compartment, driver and passenger side. Each sports coach will come with a air hose with it. Simply plug and go at the air chuck. And just by using this, if you're at the campground, you can inflate a raft if you want to float on a pond or if you just want to simply maintain your tire pressure. You can do it on both the passenger side. And then we can walk over to the driver's side. Located up above the uh, hydraulic pump for the hydraulic jacks, plug and go, and we're all set. We have an LP Quick Connect. It's located in the first compartment right behind the rear tire on the passenger side. So basically, if you want to grill outside, if you have a Blackstone griddle top, simply plug your uh, LP line in here, and you're good to go. Why do we need an LP line? Well, we are actually one of the on only diesel pushers in this price point to have the option of having an outside kitchen on select floor plan. So I'll show you that real quick. Just follow me up here. Basically what we have, a little slide out tray. So you've got your refrigerator, you've got a rack for spices. There's a couple hooks back here to hang the utensils, but it also has the cooktop. Unfold the legs, slip it in the side of the Refrigerator and just like that, you have an outside kitchen. One of the other obscure features we have is every sports coach diesel pusher has a 100 watt solar panel on it. Not only is it 100 watt, but it also has bi-directional charging. So what that means is there's a solenoid in the battery compartment on the opposite side of the coach on the driver's side that it's the solar panel itself is gonna pr provide a trickle charge to the coach batteries once they're topped off going to automatically flip over start trickle charging the chassis batteries as well. How do I know it's working? Just simply look at the control module in the rear compartment on the passenger side beside the 2000 watt inverter. You'll see the green light flashing. That means we're in direct sunlight like we are today. And the green, the opposite green light is that there is input or output. The other thing with this 100 watt solar panel is it is interchangeable on the aftermarket to a 265 watt simple plug and go system. Simply have the dealer take the 100 watt panel off, install the new 265 watt panel, 
It, it, it does have backer in the ceiling, so you don't have to worry about that. It is also pre-wired inside the coach, and we have a little label that shows where to put the control module inside, so you'll have your panel display on the inside of the coach. Those are five ob obscure things you'll see with the sports coach. If you have questions about the sports coach, please go to coachmanrv.com, hit contact us, send us your questions. We're always happy to help you out in any way we can. Thank you, and have a great day.